Switching to Linux Challenge, Day 20. So overall, I'm about to hit my first week on Ubuntu, and always after that first week, you always run into that one thing that bugs you, or that one not quite perfect aspect of the distribution. I'm going to get to that coming up. Um, overall, pretty good, as always, as my other videos. Um, and I've been focusing more. I've pretty much dumped wine altogether and said, hey, that's not really a solution for me. And I have expanded into virtualization. So in the past, I've always used VirtualBox or I have an entire home lab here where I'll do a Zen server or a VMware entire uh, big business setup. However, that's not very practical for you at home. Um, so I went ahead and said, you know, what, I'm going to go ahead and start loading just local virtualization up here. And I thought what better software to use is one I've never used. So someone in the comments suggested GNOME boxes. And if you look at my past couple days, I've released a couple tutorial videos on GNOME boxes. And that's because I just kind of broke into it, saw what some other tutorial videos were doing, and I was like, that's wrong, you shouldn't do it that way, and just kind of released my own. So, uh, GNOME Boxes, I love, it's going to be great for you if you're just getting into virtualization, if you don't like VirtualBox or QEMU is a little too technical, and uh, you don't like Vert Manager as the GUI um, for that. So, overall, I really love it. It's so simplistic where when you need to launch a Windows instance, you pretty much just pull up GNOME boxes and it's good to go. And uh, I like that. It's great and it, I love, it's a very sexy interface. So uh, overall, GNOME boxes, great. I went ahead and loaded Windows 10 and some other Linux distributions to kind of play around with them. And uh, yeah, use it, it's great. Also, kind of speaking in that same vein, um, I haven't booted into the Windows in over a week now, maybe two weeks. Uh, I don't really remember the last time I used it. Um, when I changed my intro to my videos here, I did have to boot into Windows to use After Effects because um, I had to get some professional assistance with that. And uh, of course, pretty much the business world, especially in video design, still runs in Windows. And when you have a 300 something uh, component deal for you know uh, these videos, uh, most of them use After Effects or an Adobe product line. Hey, that's just life, right? I uh, can't get everything. However, I have started dabbling into DaVinci Resolve. I've kind of hinted at that the last couple videos. This is the very first video that I'm doing, cutting, and editing completely in DaVinci Resolve. We'll see how it turns out. Let me know in the comments section below if you're like, hey, this looked weird, or wow, your cuts are so much smoother now, or it's the exact same as Caden Live, Titus. Whatever. I like hearing it. Um, but other than that, um, you know... I want to get to the one thing. Now, every every distribution has that one thing, and some distributions have a dozen things. But this kind of crop creeped up on me, and I really didn't notice it until I started like doing some playback on videos or browsing YouTube. Um, my video playback sometimes it'll just freeze, but the audio continues in the background. Uh, I can't quite pinpoint what it is, but it's not affecting my encoding or any of that. So all my videos are fine, but on my playback on my monitors, I'm just noticing a slight freeze depending on how high quality it is. Now, 4K video, uh, I've noticed it does it a lot more, uh, but it still doesn't affect it when I'm actually producing the video. It's only when I'm doing playback. So a very odd bug. I've tried doing different codecs and other things, um, but I haven't been able to solve this one yet. So it's a little bit of a puzzling bug. I think it's in relation to how I kind of hacked 
the open source Vega drivers to use the old school OpenCL from the closed source or proprietary drivers that AMD uses. So I think um, my little issue there may remain. Um, it's really kind of annoying me, um, but I'm gonna see how that goes. And I'm only gonna be releasing two more videos in this series. Uh, one at 25 days or around there, and then at the very conclusion. I think we're getting to the end here. Uh, you kind of have seen the progression of the switching from Windows to Linux. I've given a lot of pros and cons in the earlier videos and kind of transitioned into just an update format because I'm not really booting into Windows anymore. So... Um, I'm going to do one more update video probably here uh, mid next week and then at the end of uh, next week I should be approaching 30 days and I will conclude this challenge with an overview of my thoughts and what I will be using going forward. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below and I'll get back to you. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, please hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.